All right, first one of the trip. There's the little one. It's just about to leave, so we'll stay a little bit longer. Go in my gut. My gut's telling me I should go behind that rock. All right, now we're moving spots. Keep moving. Don't give up. Let's go catch some pokies. <laughs> So I didn't show this earlier on the way out, but we went by a boatload of pokey schools. So I think I'm gonna throw one in the boat and try to live line them or chunk them at the very least behind the rock. So I'm gonna pokey fish. They look like pretty small ones. I'm gonna cast all the way through the school. Look at them freak like that. Oh, they're so small. These are small. Oh, maybe they're not that small. Look at all. Look at all this bait. Probably heard it a million times if you watch these videos, but these fish don't like eat regular food. They float around and siphon microorganisms off of the out of the water. So there must be a huge algae bloom right now. Cause there's the bay's full of these. So it's probably about a 14 incher. Just to see where we're getting at here. Not even a 14 incher. All right. Number two.
Rusty keeper. Oh, maybe it's not, but whoa, yeah, I think it is. We'll see. No, maybe not. Whoa, yeah, be close. Nope. Too close. Something. Let me check on that thing real quick. This is wild. So there's a lot of different rigs in here, but I remember one of these. It's my rig. It's my jig head. I'm gonna let my son uh, play with the reel and kabam. Got stuck in a rock and I just pulled it up. Pulled some junk off the bottom. That's awesome. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's a leader fish. Whew, it's been a long time coming. There we go. It's probably an 18 fish. Not quite, but 17. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, it's 18. On this trip, I must have caught over 50 shorts. This one here is probably about 15, 15 and a half inches. Um, man, it was tough to get a big keeper size fish today. Uh, so here's the edited down version, uh, edited down run of a lot of shorts that I caught. <laughs>
All right. Lost that rig to a fish. Went a little lighter. I was keeping bottom on an ounce and a half. But, um, seems like the current died a bit, so. Went to our three quarters and we'll see how that works. Ooh, it's a long leader. I time my leader is pretty long. Um, especially for blackfish, because I feel like the... Anyways, I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. I do that especially for blackfish because of the abrasion resistance of the uh, fluorocarbons better than the braid, obviously. And uh, yeah, so and you can fix it longer without changing it. That was a big fish. Oof. Yeah, number two. That's a big keeper. Been look, looking for you for a while, dude. Ooh, how many inches is that? Put me at 19. No, just a fat one. Pretty sure that worked perfectly. Let's see. Nope, just came up. Okay, good. All right, guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, that was a fun trip. Uh, get a little. R and R time with myself and uh, just be able to get out and get some fishing in. Um, I got to thank my dad for that. He uh, or son, my son was sick, and my dad uh, offered to watch him uh, for me so I could get out on the boat and do a little bit of fishing. Uh, so thanks, Dad. Really appreciate it. All right, so we're doing a Thanksgiving themed catching cook. This is the cook portion. Um, Thanksgiving's right around the the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and make some special seafood stuffing, shove that inside some blackfish, do a nice little cream tarragon sauce. It is going to be incredible. All right, if you're nervous about butterflying a fish, don't be, this is really easy. Um, so look at the anatomy of a filet real quick. 
So this is the, the top loin part. This is where they cut the slit out, or I cut the slit out for the uh, pin bones. We're gonna leave this, and we're gonna cut here. And cut just under the loin, and into the loin, and we'll cut it all the way to about a little more than three quarters of the way into the fish. So it look like so. Hey Jace, you want to say hi to the The veg is about done. We're gonna go ahead and uh, toss in the uh, delicious shrimp that I cut up earlier. And now after that delicious mixture, we're gonna add about two cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. Broth is uh, heated up nicely. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop the bag in. And the pre-packaged stuffing mix. It really does pain me to make it uh, not fresh with my own uh, breadcrumbs and all that, but hey, you can't be can't be too choosy. You live a busy life. Sometimes that can cause us to make some mistakes. I handed the camera to my wife in time lapse mode instead of regular record mode and uh, so this next sequence did not come out the way I had planned it um, yeah so that's my son uh, you could hear he was being fussy he really likes to cook with me so he was starting to get cranky so decided to take him along for this next little step of making the tarragon cream sauce all right so I'll talk you through so we've got in the pan we've got uh, some gonna roast off slightly about a a little more of uh, wine and we'll let that that um, alcohol cook off in the wine, and um, that shifts up to the next part. That wine cooks off. We're gonna go ahead and uh, stuff our fish. Sorry, I wish I had a close-up shot to this, but well, this is what we got. So, but it's real simple. I would just go ahead and uh, take a couple spoons and uh, put it in flat down on the uh, butterfly fillets and roll them up and tuck them up. Uh, Try to limit the amount of stuffing uh, pulling out. Uh, of course, we're going to taste test a little bit there. And um, yeah, it was Bubba's approved. All right, so that's real easy. We'll take you on to the next part. All right, gonna go ahead and add in the cream to our uh, tarragon cream sauce. With that, we're gonna add uh, some tarragon, obviously for our tarragon cream sauce. A little goes a long way with this. All right. All right, as this is producing, I also added uh, some lemon juice. Uh, that's what we like to use. Squeezed lemon would be better. Uh, it's gonna be delicious. All right, all right, the uh, fish is out of the oven. Let's take a look at it. Looks great, we're gonna go ahead and uh, portion it out and uh, serve it up.
All right, just sitting down now. Uh, we had a little technical difficulty, so uh, my wife went ahead and already polished off her dish. And these are my seconds. Let me tell you, this is delicious. We're gonna get some footage of describing as we eat it in just a second. But uh, I want to talk about Thanksgiving. Uh, absolutely love it. One of my favorite holidays, probably my favorite holiday. Uh, for the most reason is um, we don't we don't give thanks enough. Uh, we're blessed people. We live in the most amazing country. Uh, no matter which way you look at it, uh, where we can have our freedoms beyond what most people can experience in the world. So I'm ever so grateful to God for that. And uh, that's why Thanksgiving my, is my favorite holiday. And the fact that I can go ahead and go on traditional and not get blasphemed for it with my Thanksgiving stuffed fish. All right, here we go. What'd you think, love? It was amazing. Right, Mouth let's, watering. Let's give this a try. Some fish, we got the shrimp in there with the stuffing. Mm. And that's Josh. When I tried it, I thought it was too lemon forward, uh, but it is perfect. It cuts right through all the, the fattiness of the butter that's in the um, stuffing and the sauce, and it just brightens everything up. It is absolutely delicious. Definitely will make this again. Definitely want you to give this a try. You won't regret it. You will not regret it. All right, guys. Old family saying, see you later. Catch you on the next one. Hey, I ain't going anywhere, so hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit a like. If you like it, please comment. Uh, comment, if you're still watching at this point, comment what your uh, favorite Thanksgiving traditions are.